Hey y'all, welcome back. It's a beautiful day out here in central Arkansas. This is the part of our winter that we call fake spring. It's like 65 degrees out here and it's just beautiful. And I can't not plant stuff today. It's just about time to plant peppers. You're supposed to plant peppers eight to 10 weeks before the date you want to put them in the ground, which here in Arkansas is, if I'm remembering correctly, is like April 15th. We usually wait a little bit longer because there have been surprise frosts in the past. But if we start them now, they're going to take a little while to germinate. And worst case scenario, they're going to get an extra week under the grow lights. No big deal. So I have two new kinds of peppers. I actually started a bunch of peppers last week. But I have two new kinds that I'm going to start today. One of them is called a guajillo pepper seed. Um, I saw it on a YouTube video the other day and it looked like fun. So I decided I was going to order some. And then the other one is a mild hatch green chili. And I love the way these things taste. They're just delicious. Not, not hot. They just taste good. Um, while I'm planting, I don't have enough peppers that I want to plant today to fill up all of these trays. So I decided I'd start some other things. I dug through my herb seeds to see if I could find something that also takes eight to 10 weeks. And what I found was spearmint. So I'm going to start some spearmint. I'm going to start some rosemary and I'm going to try some sweet marjoram. I'm also going to plant a few tomatoes today. I'm not going to go crazy because I know it's not quite time, but I want to get some tomatoes started. I'm going to start with Aunt Molly's grand che ground cherry. And if these seeds are anything like the onion seeds that I planted a couple of weeks ago, they're going to, they're going to germinate fantastically. Um, I'm really excited about these. My mother-in-law actually grew some ground cherries last year and they were absolutely delicious. So we're going to try it this year. I'm also going to plant some San Marzano tomatoes. Um, these, these seeds are actually a couple of years old. I think they'll germinate just fine, but that's another reason for planting this particular pack early. That way, if they don't germinate, I can always plant newer seeds. I have newer seeds in my collection, um, but I'm going to use up these older seeds if I can. And the same thing with these beefsteak tomatoes. So what do we want to plant first, Georgia? You want to plant some guajillo pepper seeds? I guess I'm saying that right. Yeah. All right. My heel pepper seeds. Yeah. Oh. So let's make sure. So let's write our label. And of course I've lost my labels. So I'm just going to use these. Don't knock this off. Okay. I'm just going to use these uh, craft sticks. They will fade a little bit, but I should be able to read enough of it for it not to Mama. matter. That happened yeah. just like me. I got you do start with a G. That's right. Yeah. All right. So here's what we're going to need to do. We need to make a little, just a little space. Not even very deep because we're going to put a little layer of dirt back on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. So be real careful yeah. and put those two right here. Good job. That's fine. Right there's perfect. Right there's really good. Yeah. Because we're going to plant two. So we'll plant. Actually, let's just do one on each. One in each. Okay, so put this one in this one. So let's do, let's do three rows and we'll just do one in each, okay? So I'm just making us a little hole. This says it grows well in short seasons. When it grows, I go to eat it. You are? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're gonna do spearmint next. Spearmint? And this looks. What is spearmint? What is spearmint? Yeah. Spearmint is kind of minty, minty, but it's not pepperminty exactly. That might be too too small for the camera to focus on. The little bitty seeds. They're kind of the shape of mustard seeds, but they're tiny. All right. Let's see what rosemary looks like. Rosemary also says start about 10 weeks before the last frost date. One thing I've learned about these, especially some of the herbs and stuff, is if it doesn't germinate right away, 
don't give up because some of these things take forever. Rosemary, so I've grown it before. And I want to say, I know it's a perennial, but I want to say that it tends to take over. All right, so let's do some sweet marjoram. We'll do a couple of those. See, there's some more teeny tiny seeds. All right, can you guys see that? They're so little. So I actually had no idea that these ground cherries were tomatoes. I thought they were like a berry or something, but they are not. So, all right, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one, one per cell to hopefully make it easier on myself when it comes time to put them in bigger pots. Oh, these are some more tiny seeds. And let me show y'all what I don't like about commercial potting mixes. They have these giant chunks in them. And it's like, it sticks and stuff. And I don't know how my little seeds are gonna push through that. So I just wanna say now is about the right time to plant your peppers. If you're in zone eight, seven B, find your county extension service or your state agriculture department and you can usually find a good good seed starting schedule for your area so another thing about tomatoes is that they prefer warmth they don't want to be planted in the cold the brassicas have thrived at 50 degrees these tomatoes will not they want it to be 70 to 80 degrees um, a lot of people start them on heat mats because of that. I'm just going to start them inside and keep them inside until I can consistently keep the temperature out in the sprout house more around 70 to 80. And that'll be once I get all those brassicas cycled through. Speaking of which, when we're done here, we'll go check on those. So what are y'all planting right now? Where are you at? Are you in the row? What zone are you in? I am so happy to be finally starting real plants. You just can't even imagine. Winter starts to wear on me after a little bit and I just get where I don't even want to do anything. So if you look at the back of your seed packet, most seed packets are going to tell you kind of how deep to plant it, how long it takes to germinate. and of course if they don't that's okay because the internet will i'm going to do this pan with arkansas traveler tomatoes um these are indeterminate and for the most part i honestly don't really pay attention to whether my tomatoes are determinate or indeterminate i should um indeterminate tomatoes will produce fruit indefinitely the determinant tomatoes so like you can prune them and you're not going to hurt your harvest uh, by doing that determinant tomatoes on the other hand have a set number of fruit that they will produce in their lifetime so that is something to think about when you're choosing a tomato variety if you have indeterminate tomatoes that get too big you need to prune them and I learned that the hard way last year too. They need air circulating through um, throughout the plant. I let I let a couple of ours grow and just get way too thick in the little space that they were in, and they were starting to really suffer until I finally pruned a lot of their growth. Emma is sitting out here in the sun, reading. What's your book about? All right, let's go take a tour of this sprout house and look at these plants. Okay, so this is the second batch here. I've got them next to the door to start their hardening off process. I'll move them out in the greenhouse probably in, I don't know, two, three days. This little spinach plant, it's bolting on me. So I must have left the, um, I either left the heater up too high or I left it under the light too long. And this one, this one is even farther along in the bolting process. Um, this is my little celery. 
It's looking so good. I've never gotten celery this far, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, of course, the potting up stuff. I've been potting up left and right, and I have no more time to pot up. So I have some onion seeds here started. They have not done anything, although I do see, I do see one little tiny one right there. Trying to poke his little head out, so there's hope yet. These, on the other hand, look fantastic. Now, these were all planted the same day, and um, this tray, I think, was those MI Gardener purple onion seeds, and they just look beautiful. I'm so, so, so excited about them. Um, these are the ones, these are the original ones that we planted together a couple weeks ago. It must have been longer than that. It must have been closer to a month now. But look how good those look. These are the this this was the first batch of seeds that I started in soil box. There's some more little celeries up there somewhere. So everything's going on going right along. The 2024 garden is well on its way. These are the very first in-ground plants of 2024. And I had to secure them from the chickens because as you can see, the chickens got in there and ate quite a few of them. All right, if you've enjoyed gardening with me today, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell so that you don't miss anything. We sure are glad to have you. See you next time.